my table. Okay. Okay. I've been told I can't. I can cut ears, but I can't tape them where it's a down. So, but <laughs> there are as many ways to tape the ears as there are people. Okay. And um, and you can you are you making a thing of it? Yeah. Well, if you will send it to us, I would like it. Sure. Because I need to. But come on over, and you can see if that you've got to tape the straw inside the galls or it'll come right out. Okay. Come sliding out. You can use a long piece, a short piece, or anything. And then you just roll it up extremely tight. Tight and then take and, and um, leave about a fourth of an inch to a half an inch at the end so it'll be soft inside the ear because the, uh, the straw will cut into the ear and then I roll it up real tight and uh, let's do it this way here and then I back roll it so you've got sticky on the outside and you cannot make these up in advance I had a, a technician that thought she would help me and she she made up a bunch of them in advance but you make them up and lay them around and the sticky dries out and it won't stick mm -hmm. But these straws, even with the padding right down here, let some air inside the ear. This is also described on my website. Okay. But if you can, if you're making it and would send me a copy of it, I wish you would. I will, yeah, no problem. We'll have it. And that's what I use. Then I'm going to tear off some short pieces here. I may. He probably wants to chew one up right now. He does. <laughs> I tear. And then I rip this in half to go around at the bottom. And. Well, let me just go on and pull off a long piece. I put this in between the ears as a figure eight to hold the straws up straight or to so whenever he shakes his head they don't go all kinds of different ways. Let's have him right yeah. here uh, and that is that leash long enough if he already down. I find now, <laughs> just let him, let him, just let him up here. If he finds that he cannot, just let him struggle a minute. And once he finds he can't get loose, he'll stay still. And if you'll just hold his muzzle right there, it's all right, my buddy. You're all right. Whoops. Whoops, that's a bit sore up there, isn't it? Up there at the very top. 
but I pulled this up along the edge right there. And I'm gonna start a little bit below that and put some sticky to sticky. Right there. That should stick. Once he finds out it's not gonna hurt him, he'll usually just stay still. And I'm gonna put a extra piece on there because you want to cover all the ear up. Whoops, excuse me. Sure. And then you hold your finger at the tip so you don't cut the ear. And then you take the excess off. It's all right, my little buddy. And let me get another tape here. And I'll just see. It doesn't hurt, my buddy, if you just be still a little bit. Mm -hmm. that feels weird. But I don't think he will shake that out. But if he shakes this out down here, mm -hmm. go ahead and bend it over and cut this part off. And cut that part off. The soft part. part. Uh huh. Okay. Cut that part off and just let it stay in there. Uh, wait just a minute. Let me get you where you can. Now that's a good man. Okay. So that goes right in the ear there, right? Uh -huh. It goes, you push it right down inside the ear. As far in as it'll go? Uh-huh. As long as you've got, as long as you've got padding there. Mm -hmm. Because you don't want to push it if you don't have padding. Okay. Oh, that dog on the end doesn't feel good. Mm -hmm. And then I put sticky to sticky. And I never oh, oh, pull it tight, because mm -hmm. if he grows, it may get too tight. Mm -hmm. And don't let him stay out in the in the rain, mm -hmm. because see, that's a good fellow. You want to hold that top of my gum on. Okay. Now, I'm going to just hold his head straight. I usually just take this and put it around here at the base and make it stick to each other. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, little buddy. Can you move on up here just a little bit so you can relax and we won't get the wrinkles and then I figure eight this around here so that when at the time he shakes and then I stick this to itself sort of. and it should be almost up straight mm -hmm. or out just a little bit so when it shakes it goes instead of one going one way and one another way I left this one just a tad along there right there's the ear I left that one yeah that's what it amounts to that's it. Well, it looks pretty easy. Yeah, that's a good system. It's really lightweight and really secure yeah, at the is. same time. That's good. See, it doesn't even act like there's anything kids. else. No, that he's okay. the one. Because <laughs> I used to tell people, now, kids, if you can puff in here, it comes out there, you got trouble. <laughs> you look at me as if I'm crazy, which I am. <laughs> 
they know that. Seventy six. I'm crazy. <laughs> Little buddy, I, you, you know it can break. And uh, how often do you recommend we uh, redo the ears? I usually leave, if this will stay on without him the, uh, it's scratching excessively, take these along. Uh, uh, I usually leave, if it leaves them on about two weeks at a time. Okay. And then, but if he scratches excessively and there's something wrong, go on and take it. Take them off. Mm -hmm. And if they don't stay two weeks at the time, uh, the, uh, the, uh, in my taping, I will retape it, no charge. But that, uh, um, um, but that in taking off, I use I use a round pair of scissors. I will cut this, and then I will take the rounded pair, go up under here and turn it this way. Mm -hmm. and go and start cutting. Okay. okay. But you don't want to have it this way and start cutting. Uh, you'll, cut the skin? Uh, you'll cut the skin. You'll cut the skin. And, cut. and when we retape it in two weeks, uh, do we have to make sure we hold the ears up so they don't flop back down? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, uh, no. You mean... Explain yourself. Like in between the tape, when we take these down and we we're gonna retape again, uh, is it okay for his ears to flop back oh, down? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. You just let them air out. Okay. And if they will stand some, fine. If they don't, fine too. Okay. But uh, in just uh, about two or three days, you put them right back up. Okay. So you let them yeah. air out for two days before you put them back uh -huh. up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, right. And, and, and that there is no uh, specific time. You want the time is whenever the time you are finished is whenever you can talk to him and he becomes alert and knows the ears to go right straight up. Mm -hmm. uh, that's all you can do. Okay. But uh, that some people that want them up all the time, mm -hmm. but they won't do that. Mm -hmm. They're like a mule or horse's ear, and they're not like that. <laughs> and they'll just uh, 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 the, the, uh, rotate them around and mm -hmm. pull them up, and, and that's what you want. It's probably best to keep him taped up until he's uh, six to eight months old, right? Well until they will stand okay. at the time that you call him or if he is a little bit in that squirrel or, mm -hmm. or doing whatever, yeah. All right, very good. But if there's any question, you give me a call. Okay. No problem. And then do you sell the material for taking them? Yeah, uh-huh, if you want to. You may, uh, 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 those are just at McDonald's trials. Uh, you can pick those up anywhere in any McDonald's. Uh -huh. But uh, if you want some McDonald's and some tape, yeah, right there's a full roll. If you want that. And, and uh, you want some gauze too? Does it need to be that kind of gauze? No. Because I have that kind, but it's the, the it's a different fabric, but it's That's gauze. That's fine. That's fine. As long as it is something round. Something round. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's it's square gauze, but it's that size. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Feels odd for him. All righty. All right. Thank you so much, doctor. Yes, sir.